In this video, we will demonstrate how to track a sprint via the burndown chart. In starting module, you can review the sprint in two locations. One is the sprint card in the sprint panel, and the second is the team board sprint inside panel. Reviewing the sprint allows the scrum team to determine if they are on track or if modifications to the sprint should be made. For current sprints, the sprint card includes the burndown chart. The thermometer, showing how many total points have been completed out of the total assigned to the sprint. And there's also a variety of blogs and articles on the internet regarding how a burn down chart should look based on the type and the maturity level of the team and project. As your team or project changes, so will the burn down chart. So in my agile environment, this is my product backlog. And within my product backlog, we can see the sprint panel. And this sprint panel can be accessed by selecting the running man icon. And here, as I discussed previously, we can see a thermometer and the number of points completed and the total number of points. So, so far, one point of four has been completed. And we can also see from the task burn down chart that five hours of work has been completed on the first day of the sprint. And a lot more information can be found by simply selecting the four stories. And you can see the story type, name, status and the number of points assigned. And you can also review this information in the team board by selecting this option. Now while we are on the team board we can select the graph icon which will open the inside panel. And the inside panel displays the hours burn down. So again we can see the five hours is currently being worked on on the first day of this sprint. We can see the estimated points by type so we can see that there's three user stories and one technical to do. And again we can see the thermometer which has one point of four completed. For past sprints the sprint card displays the total points completed in that sprint, a pie chart showing the story types included in the sprint, and you can review past sprints by scrolling through the sprint card panel on the backlog view. The charts are displayed for past sprints and can be used to determine the velocity for future sprints. When reviewing past sprints, we can simply select the sprint name from the drop down box. So I will select Demo Sprint 2. And here we can see the burn down chart again and how the sprint progressed. We can also see the estimated points by type again. So here we can see there was one defect and two user stories. And we can see that three story points of three have been completed. And we can also go back to the backlog. And in the sprint panel, we can see a history of all the sprints again. And here we have the sprints without the task burn down chart. So we have the points completed again, the stories that were in that particular sprint, the status of them, the points assigned, and also the pie chart to display the story type. In this video, we discovered how to review past and current sprints within Star Team Agile. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.